this is 10,000 point lights working in Unreal Engine 5.5. In case you're not aware, there have been a lot of announcements about this new version of the engine. This video is about one of them, Mega Lights. Mega Lights is a brand new experimental feature in Unreal Engine 5.5, which was just released recently in preview. This feature is now currently active in that engine version. In a nutshell, this feature allows you to use so many more lights in Unreal Engine than you could before. This footage is from the demo that was showcased at Unreal Fest 2024, and it shows literally thousands of shadow casting movable light sources all running together in a scene. Mega lights is the only reason this scene is functioning at all at a very stable 18 frames per second. Lights do still have a cost in the engine but man that cost is so so much smaller. For context each one of these point lights is emitting about a thousand lumens. They're all movable and they all have an attenuation of a thousand. And before I start playing around with these settings to show you what frames per second saving we're getting, let me just show you how you can activate mega lights in your own project. Go to project settings and you can search in there for mega lights and you can of course check it on inside project settings. I don't currently have it selected because if you mouse over and you get the tooltip, it does say that how you have mega lights set in your post process volume will override the project setting. This project was migrated from 5.3 and it already had a post-process volume in it. My mega lights weren't working until I realized they were in the post-process volume and turned off. We go to my post-process volume instead, type in mega and there's mega lights checked on. Let's see what happens when I turn it off. <laughs> okay. Well, it's still running. It seems to have settled at between three and four frames per second. So, you know, kind of unusable, really, by just checking this box and we're back to 18. Let's select all of these lights. Oh, it does not like having them all selected, I'll tell you that. Okay, yeah, selecting them all was just impossible. Let's select like half of them. And you can see here in my light details panel, I've got 100 lumens, 1000 in attenuation, and all set to movable. But if I go really high, like 10,000, oh, it's really thinking hard, man. Okay, right, we've got 10,000 attenuation on all of these lights. And for some reason, yeah, and I'm getting uh, nearly nine frames a second now, 8.5 frames a second, which is, Obviously not great, but you're not going to be running a scene like this. And if you are, that's just stupid. You know? <laughs> but that's kind of my point. I've been trying to break this and I actually haven't had a crash yet, even though I am just piling light into this scene. There'll be a limit and I haven't quite reached it yet. And I don't think that I really need to because that's more lights than I'm going to need to use packed together in a small space with massive attenuation. This is great, actually. I'm now gonna delete these lights out of the scene and show you a more realistic example. So my scene is semi back to normal now, and you can see I've only really saved about 10 frames a second by removing 10,000 lights out of this scene. That's kind of mad, really. So I'm getting near 30 frames per second off this scene right now, which is really cool. And there are still, by the way, lots and lots of lights at play here. This is a city scene and I still have quite a lot of lights, all with very high attenuation. So I'll show you around. I've got some spotlights up here, all really big spotlights. I've turned the attenuation up deliberately because I know that now I can get away with attenuation. And if we're all being fair, attenuation doesn't exist in reality. It's inverse square law, light fall off, but you don't have a hard cut off on how far a light can go. It just doesn't exist. So now everything is turned off in my scene, completely off, and I'm still just about getting 80 frames per second, which is not as high as it should be. It should be about 120. So I'm gonna chalk that up to this being 5.5 preview but I'm really loving mega lights. This was an incredible feature it had because I like building big environments with lots of lights. And I do wonder whether in the future, rather than it being a checkbox, it just becomes integrated into the overall optimization of the engine. It's quite possible that it currently exists as a checkbox because we're in preview and people need the ability to turn on and off experimental features. And even if your plan, like mine, is to render your work with the path tracer afterwards, that doesn't mean that mega lights isn't useful 
useful. Now, of course, it's mainly used in Lumen for visualizing things in real time, but it's gonna make building things easier because if you want to throw lots of lights into your scene, that would still be tricky. You still want to have an easy time in the editor, and I think Mega Lights certainly helping that as well. I'm excited to start building things and worrying less about my lights and building more freely. See you on the next one.